I was kind of hoping to leave those dowels out. They kind of look cool, but I forgot about this. So we'll flush cut these. Man, everywhere I look, I just see the mistakes and poor planning. And it's never as good as you'd hope. So now we need to figure out a good bearing, a, a bearing a, a ability for this to, to, it's going to be moving back and forth for many years. And if we can get it wood off of wood, that would be best. So what I'm thinking here is I've got these uh, heavy steel discs here, and I'm going to put these on here. I'll, they got a little rust on them. I'll clean them up here, but we're just trying them on for size. And I'll put some wax. I'll put a little wax on there. If we put one of these here, then we put our, I've got the same thing done on the other side. Then we put this here. Then we put another one on the outside. Now I can preload the bearing with the bolt or with the nut. Lost my wrench there. There it is. Um, and so uh, to keep that from backing off, once I get, once I kind of get the tension, I'll, I'll Loctite it with red. Once I get the tension that I want, then I will, um, we'll just let it sit, sit up. That feels really good, actually. I want it to be tight so it's not wobbly, but I also want it to be a nice bearing surface. and then it will be able to adjust it. Yeah, that wax really makes a big difference. That feels pretty good right there. Yeah, because that, that will wear, and then we'll be able to always constantly just tighten it up a little bit and then keep it nice and, and solid. So everything looks like it's working out right here. So I've, there's lots of adjustability in it. It's hard to know, you know, until you use something. If you just make something that's static, you know, if you don't get everything right, then well, you're forever unhappy. So but everything looks good so far. It's the I've got lots of room with the seat. Having the seat adjustable is a big deal. So I've cut a piece of hardwood here. This is a uh, two inch hickory block, same as the workstation to fit in here. And it looks good. Boy, this wet timber is just so tis twisting so bad. Heartbreaking. But now as I press on this, now this will come back, this will come down and hold. For example, let's say we want to imagine this is a dowel or what the table leg or something we're working on. We press on this, it holds fast there, and then we can we can use a draw knife. We can, we can draw it down. So we want this to probably be able to, yeah, I guess it could spin a little bit. Wouldn't hurt anything. Maybe it's like a hold flat. I don't think it matters. So let's, uh, we'll drill, I've got this pre-drilled. Let's uh, drill a pilot hole in here and then we'll lag this together and then we'll, uh, we'll s see about the treadle, the foot treadle. So we're ready to mount that hardwood piece. I've pre-drilled everything so it's not to split. I've got these little uh, uh, quarter inch lags and I'll put, um, put a little wax on them. That will help, uh, help prevent splitting. 
I've got this hole, uh, this out the hole here in the linkage a little bit bigger because I want this to be able to rotate. I'll show you why here in a minute. So this is a reasonably complex project, intermediate or so. It could be done in a day if you uh, were really efficient. It would be a long day. So let's see how that works out here. If we go to our top. I was hoping this all worked perfectly at its top setting. It seems very stiff. I'm glad I went oversized. That's really nice. I've got the, well, so I made this rectangle here uh, so that uh, if I wanted to pick up a little bit more, if I had a bigger piece, you know, if I just needed that extra inch or so, I could rotate it. It's a little bit tight there. Or I can rotate it down to better fit. I don't know yet. I mean, all of this stuff is just kind of I don't know if that's best or is it to have it, to have it on a point? Maybe if you didn't want to mar, didn't want to mar the material you're working, working on, you could. That's kind of nice. Like that. So this is the piece that I came up with for the treadle. Uh, it is a uh, piece of fur, two inch or so. And I put a, a 45 on it there. Uh, to be to better uh, to fit be more ergonomic for the foot as it comes at a flat flat, flat place for the foot to be on not that you would feel it with boots on but i guess if you ever wanted to shave horse and moccasins as my man brian does sometimes it might be a little bit more comfortable for him so let's go ahead and screw this in i uh, for, I, I did the overhang four and a half inches was about the width of my foot uh, with a with a big shoe on and uh this might change, but we'll go with this for now. Let's see how that treadle works. Nice thing about the fur is the fur frame is it's not so he not too heavy. You take the uh, take the uh, hardwood sections out, and then it's uh, it's a uh, more seems to be more manageable. All right, let's see how that, I'll put a piece of stock in here and how that fits the, feels good. That chamfer on there. It's a natural extension of the leg there. It feels good. I feel like I've got a lot of adjustability. I can use both feet if I wanted to get more tension here. Or you get tired. That's the nice thing is you can use left or right. You get tired and want to change position. Yeah, I think I think that that works. That works good. I push it forward. I put my stock in. I can use either foot, and I can pull now. Lots of room on it. I can come back if I have longer things. Plenty of it fit. This should have fit about anyone. And let's say if I have. Um, a bigger piece of material that I want to that won't fit in there. Now I have the flexibility of I can drop this down. And if it's too if the stroke isn't right, I just get the teeth lined up until it is. Right there. Very very versatile. All right, let's bring in, uh, let's show, do a couple close-ups here, and then we'll, uh, yeah, I think we're in good shape. So that's basically it there. 
Uh, one thing I didn't mention, so on the, the workstation here, here you can see this would be a typical focus. This would be a typical, uh, what's that focus? There we go. It'd be a typical you know, size of something that we'd be working on you know, after it's done, uh, but I put a groove. Doesn't seem to want to be focusing. I break another lens. You can see right there, here you can see it from the, work, from the worker's perspective, a groove in there to hold any round stock or any, you know, anything you wanted to put in there if you wanted to hold something this way and it's all, that's all solid hickory, that'll be there to last. So you can see here, it's very comfortable. Simply push. And when something is too far, you know, that's, that's a little bit too far of a reach for me. It's not comfortable. I can uh, go up a gear and now that's better. Both feet or left foot or right foot. It's very, it seems to be very, if it doesn't, you don't have to hold very hard. It doesn't take very much force on here. The bearings are turning and working really good. Those feel nice. The more that that wax gets in there, the better it feels. So we'll play around with that. We'll cut these off flush. But uh, I think overall, I mean, it's, it was a lot of, a lot of frustration and aggravation, but um, getting everything working just right. But I think it turned out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. One of my very favorite things to do is, uh, well, you know, that's what's, I guess what's, what's so fun about having, being married to someone who's your best friend is I like to share things with uh, Mrs. W after I build them. That's what I've always done. I get it done and I call her in and she tells me how cool I am. <laughs> so, it's purely selfish, but I always enjoy doing it. So if you'd like to see Mrs. W's reaction, I'll call her in here. I'll uh, record that on the 360 cam. Um, and you can have a look around the shop that is a complete disaster right now. So thanks for watching and we'll see you over on Facebook.